Hello, friends, and welcome back to r slash I don't work here, lady. Today, we have four more great news stories, and the first of them, no, Karen, I cannot help you go to the bathroom. In high school, I worked for a national movie theater chain. While they've changed them since then, the uniform at the time consisted of navy blue trousers and a red polo. Nearby in the same plaza, there were several restaurants and fast food places. Among these was a Panda Express. During my 15-minute break, I'd been at Panda and in line ordering and waiting to pay for my food. I was minding my own business, hoping I could get out of there quickly enough to have time to inhale my orange chicken prior to darting back to the box office when my break ended. I'm a bit zoned out, so I became rather startled upon an abrupt ahem accompanied by a tap on my shoulder. I turned and took in the sight of what we all now know to be a Karen. Me. Oh, sorry, was I in your way? This is my default line of thinking, and I have terrible social anxiety. Karen. I said I need to go to the bathroom. Me. Pointing. Um, well, it's over that way, I think. Karen. I know that, obviously. Me. Confused at this point because I'm not at all in the way of her getting to the bathroom, and now she's admitted to knowing where it is. I don't know what to... I need the key, she shouts at me. At this point, it's time for me to pay for my food. Remember, I'm on the outside of the glass slash counter and waiting in line. I figure maybe she's trying to get past me to ask the cashier for the bathroom key. So I step back and make room for her to go ahead of me. She does it. I asked you for the bathroom key. Do you not know how to do your job? I finally realize that she thinks I'm employed there. I guess maybe it's because my work shirt is red and so are the employee uniforms there. Me, awkwardly pointing at the cinema logo on my polo. Um, I'm just on break. I don't... She must not have looked at the gestures I'd made to the uniform of the company I actually was employed by. Is this your manager? She turned to the cashier. Your employee is so rude. Just because she's on her break, she's refusing to help me go to the bathroom. She needs to be fired. Ma'am, she doesn't work here. Will you be purchasing a meal? Our restrooms are for customers only. Karen sputters, then turns and storms out of the place to terrorize some other establishment with a public restroom. They totally allow people to use the bathrooms without buying food, by the way. I think they just wanted to have her leave the store because of the scene she'd caused. Good call on the cashier for coming up with that lie on the spot. Worked well against the wrath of Karen. And our second story. I'm not a paramedic, though. This happened today while I was at work, and I decided to create an account to let you guys know about it. I'm a cop, and I was mistaken for a paramedic. I have basic first aid and have a defib in my cruiser, but that's it. Often cops and paramedics get called to the same call, even if it's technically purely medical, and there's nothing job specific for me to do that the paramedics can't do. Often I'll hang out for a little while longer after it's been determined that I'm not really needed just in case the paramedics change their mind due to the patient getting violent or something. Of note, we have similar uniforms, but I have a red stripe down my pants, carry a gun, and have the word police in huge letters on my back and the front of my vest, while paramedics have paramedic written on them. If you're literate and know paramedics don't carry guns, you can tell the difference. Also, if a cop tells you that they're not a paramedic, that should be a strong hint too. Today, I was on scene when a kid started having some sort of medical emergency where he couldn't breathe properly. Paramedics show up, lights and sirens, and get him into the back of their ambulance. They left the lights on as they're blocking the lane. Once they get the kid in the ambulance, I'm standing outside waiting for them to head off. My cruiser was parked a couple of meters from where I was standing as well. A lady comes up to us and goes, you need to turn off those lights. And I reply with, they aren't my lights, they're paramedics. They're a little busy right now. Probably saving a life. The lady replies with, those lights can cause a seizure. How dare you put people in danger like that? Not so irresponsible. Well, I'm not a paramedic. I'm a cop, so they're not mine. I gesture to my vest, which says in huge white letters, on navy blue, police. I looked around, and the kid's family was standing at the other side of the ambulance, and we're basically the only other people there. A few other people are in the area, but paying no mind to us at all. And this lady herself was definitely not having a seizure in my non-medically professional medical opinion. Look, the lights are on for a reason. It's for driver safety, to alert drivers that there's an ambulance in the middle of the road. You aren't having a seizure, and neither is anyone else. So if you don't mind, please move along. I hate crowding at scenes. 
Some of this kid's family was close by, and they didn't need random strangers causing a commotion and adding more stress to an already stressful situation. I can't believe how rude you are, she yells back. I'm going to complain to your boss. You can definitely tell my boss I didn't turn off ambulance lights. My badge number is XXXXX. If the lights are pissing you off so much, you're welcome to leave. You're in a public area, free for people to come and go. Unbelievable. She stomped off after that, which was good. I haven't yet received that complaint. Probably because I'm not a paramedic. I'm pretty sure the lights on ambulances and cruisers don't flash at Caesar-causing frequencies. <laughs> and our next story. Entitled parents told to put it here. Some backstory. I've been working at Walmart for six years, and ED comes into shop at least twice every week, so we spot each other there all the time but have never actually spoken before this point. Yesterday, I was off work, so I went to Walmart to do some grocery shopping. Sure, it sucks to be there while I'm not working, but I get an employee discount. Anyway, as I shop, it's not uncommon for people who shop there regularly to recognize me as an associate. However, they usually leave me alone because I'm clearly not working, not wearing my vest or Walmart hat. This time, though, E.D. spotted me shopping. He was in front of the toy department with his daughter, probably six or seven years old, when he saw me shopping. It should be easy to see that I'm not working. As I said, no vest, no hat with the Walmart spark. I was also pushing a cart full of food and small household needs. E.D. made his way over to me and stopped directly in front of my cart to keep me from moving forward. E.D., I need you to help me get a bike down from the rack. Mm, sorry, I'm actually not working right now. I'm sure there's another associate around here who could help you. But you work here. You have to help. It's your job. As I said, I'm not working right now. I'm just here to shop. Well, you shouldn't be here if you're not working. You're here, so do your job. Annoyed, I tried to turn my cart to get around E.D. Even though I wasn't on the clock, I didn't want to say anything that could get me in trouble because I was still inside my workplace. I need to get a bike for my daughter. Are you seriously trying to walk off and not help us? Listen, I'm not allowed to help you when I'm not on the clock. Then just clock in and help me. It'll only take a few minutes. I can't do that. Why not? I would need a manager to override. I can't just clock in whenever I want. But as I've said, there are other associates here who can help you. Edie's daughter was getting upset that no one was getting a bike down for her. Edie was getting frustrated, as was I. Edie glared at me and grabbed his daughter's hand. I'm going to speak to your manager. I can guarantee you won't have a job after this. You can't treat customers like this. I'm a customer right now too, man, but okay. Edie stormed off with his daughter to find a manager. I finished my shopping. Today at work, my manager brought it up to me and said, don't worry about it. Some customers just don't understand the fact that employees aren't always working. We don't help you out of the kindness of our hearts. We help you because we're getting paid to do it. I'd love to find ED's workplace and demand for him to help me on his day off. Sure thing, ED. You stay right there and I'll get someone. Let me just take my cart with me so it's not in anyone's way while I'm gone. Continue shopping, pay and leave. And our next story. You're not the boss's kid. I don't know if it really belongs here, but my parents have a business, and when I was around 12 or 13, I used to help out there a lot. It was usually after school when I came in, but whenever I walked in there, there was always some new workers and they never really questioned it. So one day after school, I went inside and pressed the bell and saw a man probably 35 years old or something. I'm not really sure. It was a bit blurry what he looked like, and he looked confused. So I look him in the eyes and he just stands in front of the door and looks at me. Then he closes the door, leaving me outside. Great. So I ring the bell again and I hear what must have been his voice since I didn't recognize it. Don't open the door. And I hear my aunt who also works there say, why? He then said, there's some idiotic girl probably begging for money. Reminder, the wall's pretty thin. So I ring the bell a third time and my aunt pops out and lets me in. I greet her, give her a kiss and go straight to my parents' office exactly in front of their office that guy was there again he told me i couldn't go in because you can't go inside they have a meeting there was a window and my father was sitting in front of my mother because he probably needed help with some documents or something my mom's pretty much the brains of the two so i said i don't really think they're having a meeting because they're both my parents no they aren't i've seen their kids a lot of times since i work here a long time i didn't really remember how long he said but it sure wasn't believable at this point, 12-year-old me didn't care anymore, and I just went in. I came in, my parents looked at me, 
tried to greet me, and then that worker just grabbed my arm and told me, I'm sorry this kid tried to steal multiple workers. I'll throw her out. My mom then told him to stop, which he did, and told him, don't you dare lie about my daughter stealing and throw her out. He was shocked, looked at me. I already had my school ID in hand and had that B, I was right smile. He stared at me in disbelief and stormed out. My parents fired him. Afterwards, they bought some cake for the workers because he already had stole some bags of rice, but they had no proof. Edit. A lot of you got confused about why he said I was stealing. I think he probably stole stuff from others, and the only thing I know about is the rice and a calculator because my parents didn't tell me when I was younger what was happening. Hey guys, thank you all for watching the video to the end, and I'll see you in the next one.